I believe that the governor listened to the people of the state of Florida, and I'm very uh, happy that he, that he did. Tens of thousands of people uh, called, emailed, came to visit him, saw him on uh, stops around the state over the past couple of weeks, and it was amazing how many people were in opposition to this bill, for all for, I believe, very good reasons. Um, we had students in, our, in my district uh, uh, demonstrating at, at the schools. Uh, you had parents extremely upset, um, local business leaders who, um, you know, who understand uh, how, uh, what an important role teachers play in our communities. And um, I think that there were just some very unfortunate uh, um, components of that legislation. And I think the thing that, that bothered me the most was that um, the legislature wasn't listening um, to the people. Uh, and that's, you know, we're all up here, we're elected to represent people back home. And I felt very comfortable in voting no on that bill because the people in my community made it very clear that uh, this was not the way they wanted to go about uh, changing and reforming education. I mean, no one can say that education doesn't need reform, that we need to be looking at some of these issues that were in the bill. But it's the way in which things are done. You need to have the stakeholders at the table, the parents, the teachers, uh, students, uh, community leaders, uh, so that everyone can feel um, you know, uh, a part of, of what is happening. And I think that that was uh, something that did not happen here. And uh, this was the result. So I think the governor, as I said, um, he listened to uh, the people and overwhelmingly they were opposed to this legislation.